Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see you today. Hi, are you ready to sing our good morning song? All right, let's do it. Here we go. word of the day is lemonade. Lemonade. Can you say lemonade? Good job. Lemonade, your turn. Good job. I like to drink lemonade. Lemonade, good job. Our next word of the day is Games. Games. Can you say games? Good job. Games. Your turn. Good job. I like to play games. Games. Your turn. Good job. And our last word of the day is my favorite. This word is p -ick -nick. picnic. 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 Can you say picnic? Good job, picnic. Good job. I like to eat at the picnic. Picnic. Nice job. I think I know a song about a picnic. Will you sing along with me? Oh. We're gonna have a picnic with our friends Down by the tree by the river bend Gonna have a picnic with our friends Everyone's invited We're gonna put a blanket on the ground Fill it up with food and gather around Gonna have a picnic with our friends Everyone's excited We're gonna have a picnic 
song with me today. I think that we're ready to read our books. Our first book today is called How to Start a Lemonade Stand. Lemonade. Ready, set, squeeze. Want to try something fun? Set up a lemonade stand. It's a great project for a hot day. Let's go step by step. You will need lemons, sugar, water, ice, pitchers, a measuring cup, a table, tablecloth, chair, cooler with ice, cups, napkins, cash box with change, cardboard, and markers. Make a plan. Make a plan first. Where will you sell your lemonade? A busy place is best. Look at the list. What do you have? What do you need to buy? Hmm, lemons and ice and cups and napkins. Buy the items you need at the store. How much did you have to pay? Now set a price. Will one cup cost 50 cents or a dollar? You need to earn more than you spent. Make lemonade. Are you ready to make lemonade? Cut some lemons in half. Squeeze until you have one cup of lemon juice. Pour the lemon juice into a pitcher. Add one cup of sugar and five cups of water. Stir well. Cut one lemon into slices. Add it to the pitcher. Now make more lemonade. The more you make, the more you can sell. Make your stand. Use a, cardboard, use a card table for your stand. Cover it with a tablecloth. The cups and napkins will go on top. Don't forget the trash can. Make a sign for your stand. Show your prices. Open your lemonade stand. Today is the big day. Be happy. Wave and say hello. Pour a fresh glass for each person. Remember to say thank you. Lemonade. The end. The end. Now we know how to make lemonade. Our next story is called the lucky day picnic picnic on the first day of summer ricky raccoon invited his friends to a picnic they were delighted please come to the pond on friday at one bring your favorite snack we'll have plenty of fun Sam Squirrel gathered walnuts, his tastiest treat. He imagined his friends bringing more nuts to eat. What was Beryl's best snack? The bear had one wish. Her big picnic pail was piled high with fresh fish. Lettuce and carrots made a fine feast for Reggie. The rabbit hopped to his yard and filled his baskets with veggies. Robin Redbreast picked apples and lots of red cherries. She plucked purple grapes and juicy blueberries. Mm, mm, mm. As they packed picnic 
baskets. Each one of the guests thought the others would bring the same snack he liked best. But the friends were surprised at the table of treats, for each guest had brought something different to eat. A rainbow of snacks. It's our lucky day. From these healthy foods, we get energy to play. Do you see the picnic? Picnic. So after their picnic, they went for a swim, and Ricky Raccoon was the first to jump in. The end. What a great picnic. Our last book today is called Caillou Backyard Games. Games. One day, Caillou and Leo were playing, and Clementine came by. Look at my ribbon. I won it in a swimming race, she called. Wow, exclaimed Leo. Last summer, I won a ribbon in a running race. Caillou really liked Clementine's ribbon. I wish I could win a ribbon, said Caillou. You just gave me an idea, said Grandma. Why don't we have our own backyard games? Will the winners get ribbons? asked Leo. Yes, I can make some ribbons, said Grandma. Does that sound like fun? Clementine and Leo liked the idea, but Caillou wasn't so sure. What if he didn't win anything? The first event was a heel-toe race. You have to walk heel to toe, one foot right in front of the other, all the way to the finish line, explained Grandma. Everyone ready? Go! Racing like this was funny, but hard. Caillou tried his best, but Clementine was faster, and she won. Next was the biggest smile contest. Everyone say cheese, said Grandma. Cheese! Grandma measured their smiles with a ruler. Rosie gets the ribbon, cheered Grandma. This happy little girl sure has had a lot of practice smiling. Leo said, can we stop smiling now? My face is getting sore. Caillou was disappointed that he didn't win. Mommy asked, what's the matter, Caillou? I want to win a ribbon. Just keep trying, said Mommy. Remember, these are games, and games should be fun. Games should be fun. Caillou decided she was right. He wanted to have fun and not worry so much about the ribbons. What's next, Grandma? asked Caillou. This is an obstacle race, explained Grandma. You have to bounce on the mattress, throw the ball into the basket, run around the basket, and come back to the starting line. Caillou liked races like this. He was eager to start. On your mark, get set, go! As he ran, Caillou imagined he was a real athlete, running and leaping over hurdles in a big stadium. 
cheered on by thousands of fans. What an exciting finish, called the announcer. Caillou is in the lead, and the crowd is going wild. At the finish line, Gilbert ran across the track. Watch out, called Caillou. Clementine and Leo bumped into Caillou and they all fell down. You silly cat, said Grandma. You messed up our finish. Grandma gave a, lip, a ribbon to Leo. Good job. You were the first one to fall over the finish line. Caillou was having so much fun, he forgot all about ribbons and winning. The final event was a no-smiling contest. No smiling, no giggling, no laughing, warned Grandma. This is very serious. Rosie started giggling right away, and that made Clementine laugh. Clementine is out, called Grandma. Now it's just Leo and Caillou. Caillou felt like laughing, but he concentrated hard. He kept his face very still, like a mask. He stared at Leo. Leo stared back, and then Leo started to laugh. Caillou, you look so funny, giggled Leo. Caillou is the winner, called Grandma, and everyone cheered. Yay! Caillou beamed. This is the first ribbon I've ever won. I've got one ribbon left over, said Grandma. I think it should go to Gilbert for the best purr. Bravo, Gilbert, cheered Caillou. Gilbert purred. The end. Those were some good backyard games. Those were some great stories, everybody. Now it's time to go back over our words of the day. Our first word of the day was lemonade. Lemonade. Can you say lemonade? Good job! We learned how to make lemonade. Lemonade. Your turn. Good job! Our next word of the day was G games. Games. Can you say games? Games. We watched Caillou play games. Games. Your turn. Good job. And our last word of the day was picnic. Picnic. Can you say picnic? That's a fun word. Picnic. Very good. We watched the animals have a picnic. Picnic. Very good. Thank you. I've had so much fun learning those words with you today. It's time for us to sing our song to say goodbye. Are you ready? Okay. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to wave goodbye. 
goodbye. Wave goodbye. Farewell, my friends, until we meet again. Goodbye until next time. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Wave goodbye. Bye-bye. Farewell, my friends, until we meet again. Goodbye until next time. One more time. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. Farewell, my friends, until we meet again. Goodbye until next time. Bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.